hello, all my gorgeous angels and devils. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 horror games that I'm looking forward to in 2015. Now this is just a list that I put together. There might be better scary games coming out, or you might find one that you like more than my opinion, and that's okay. I'm just doing this to show what I like about it. They're not in order at all. I don't know how these games are going to turn out. They might be good, they might be bad, so I didn't put them in any type of order. So let's get on into it. First on my list is Outlast 2. I loved Outlast 1. I did that and the DLC, and I liked them both, and i definitely play another version of it again. It will be released on both PC and new-gen consoles. There is no release date yet, and in an interview, they did say that there will be all new characters and a new setting, so I'm guessing it's like a whole new game. There's, I don't know if it's going to tie in how... It would even tie in, I'm not sure. They've been working on Outlast 2 since right after the Whistleblower DLC. So hopefully we'll be getting a release date or even a trailer soon enough. There's not even like any pictures. Next on my list is Dollhouse. Dollhouse is a PC indie game. I have been waiting for this game. I saw it on Steam and I've just been wanting to play it so badly. The story is of a girl named Catherine. She doesn't know how to differentiate between her two states of mind. This will be a single and also a multiplayer game, which is really cool. One team and the other team get to compete against each other and one gets to like control her conscious and stuff. I think it sounds awesome. It looks pretty cool. I just love the concept and the idea and that is why it is on this list because I can't wait. I don't care. I don't even know how much it is. I don't care. I want this game. <laughs> the third game on my list is called Routine. Routine is a PC game. There is a possibility of a PS4 release after the PC version is out, but it's not known for sure. It can be played with the Oculus Rift also. And I was reading some comments and people were hoping that you can also play without the Oculus Rift, which I'm sure you will be able to. And especially if it's on the PS4, I'm sure there'll be a game mode without it. I don't see why there wouldn't be. But it's a first person exploration game and the setting has taken place on an abandoned moon base. It reminds me of Alien Isolation. So I kind of really want to play on the Oculus Rift. I'm going to have to get the Oculus Rift if I get this game. <laughs> but I enjoy Alien Isolation so I'm guessing it's going to be good. I hope so. Because Alien Isolation, I don't know if, you can, if they can top Alien Isolation. But you know, maybe it'll be just good. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Next on the list is Until Dawn. Until Dawn is a PS4 exclusive, so we won't be seeing it on the PC or Xbox One, but it is eight friends who are trapped on a remote mountain retreat. Things quickly turn sinister. They start to suspect that they aren't alone. And what this game is, is you make, it's one of those where you make your own decisions and it could possibly save or kill you or your friends. I think this will be really cool because <laughs> it's, one of those where your actions do the consequences like the game Life is Strange that I played except it's not a scary game and it's not like murder. Well no, there was murder. So I can't say that. <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna be is like high school related. Fifth on my list is Grave. This game will be launched on both PC and new gen consoles. It is an indie survival horror game. A few of the large YouTubers like PewDiePie and Markiplier, I'm pretty sure they played it and they had a demo for it a while ago. They took it off though and I don't understand why. For some reason it hasn't been released yet and I'm pretty sure it's been and works for a while and there's no release date. So maybe we'll be seeing it soon. It's supposed to be released in 2015. And it'll be on new gen consoles, so maybe that's why it's taking a while. They want to get that all worked out so that it's on console. Soma, S-O-M-A, I don't know, is it Soma? I think that's how you say it. It might be S-O-M-A. I think so. <laughs> it's a first person sci-fi horror game taking place in an underwater remote research facility where the machinery will take on human characteristics. It's made by the creators of Amnesia, another amazing scary game, and this will be available for PC and PS4. What's with Xbox One? Come on Xbox One, get your games up. <laughs> Frictional Games have been working on this since 2010, and it isn't expected to come out until later this year. So they've had a ton of time to work on it, almost five years. It's going on now, yeah, five years. They better have the best game ever. <laughs> Next is Asylum. As you can see in the pictures, it has a really creepy feel to it, but what Asylum wouldn't? Like, seriously. <laughs> 
what has happened and is and what is happening behind these walls. It's based off of a real asylum, Hanwell Mental Institute. In the game, you get to walk around and experience what would happen in a real institute, but it will also have twisty storytelling and horrifying revelations. It will only be for PC, and I can't wait. It's another game that is on one of the top of my list. I think Asylum games are really creepy and really scary, and it makes me freak out, and that is why I can't wait for this. Another game is Summer Camp. This is a third-person horror survival game where players can be a team counselor or the killer. You don't have to eat, drink, or sleep, but you just have to worry about living. It's a multiplayer game. Up to six to eight players maximum is eight. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of people. <laughs> and it will be available on both PC and new-gen consoles. It is mirroring Camp Crystal Lake from Friday the 13th. A crazy killer is on the loose, which of course. <laughs> and it will stop at nothing to get you, and you will die a gruesome death. Yep, pretty crazy. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. It's definitely, like, realistic looking. Human Element is number nine on my list, and it will be available for PS4, Xbox One, Wii U and Windows. It's going to be released in November, supposedly, and it's going to take place 35 years after the zombie apocalypse. It doesn't seem too much like a horror game, but it's still classified as one. There will also be a game mode that is like TDM, which means capture the flag, which also means the domination. That sounds awesome and really crazy, and it's going to be a five on five. So, yeah, looking out for that. I think it'll be cool. It'll be another game to play with my friends. Finally, the last on this list is Silent Hills. It won't be released until 2016, but I can't wait. It's, again, an amazing looking game, and I love Silent Hill games. I love the movies, and it has my favorite character in it, so it will be amazing. It's the ninth installment to the main series, right after Silent Hill Downpour, which I gave up on a while ago, whoops. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and play it and finish it finally. My favorite part about this game is, like I said, it is starring Norman Reedus. If you don't know who this is, it is Daryl Dixon. If you don't know who that is, shame on you. <laughs> he is a character on The Walking Dead, and he's my favorite character. Also, an exclusive PT has came out on the PS4 a few months ago, and once you complete it, you wake up in Silent Hill, so it shows the beginning of how it starts off. All in all, I am very excited for each and every one of these games. That is why they are on my top 10 horror games of 2015. I hope and I plan on getting them all, at least eventually. I really hope so, because they all look so cool and they all have amazing stories so I can't wait <laughs> if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you aren't already I'll talk to you all later bye links run look at that pregnant belly oh look at that pregnant belly how cute shift oh that's how she runs okay